I'm Miss Katrina, and welcome to a Storytime Sunday. Today's book, Dinosaur ABC. A is for Allosaurus. I'm a meat eater, and I like to go hunting with my friends. I am huge, scary, and I have very, very sharp teeth. I like to eat other dinosaurs, especially big ones with long necks. Allosaurus. B is for Baryonyx. My name is Baryonyx, which means heavy claw. I like to eat smaller dinosaurs, but my favorite food is fish. I catch them with my claws and then chew them up with my jagged teeth. Baryonyx. C is for Coelophyphus. My name means hollowed bone. I am small and light. This means I can run very fast, which is useful for chasing things to eat and getting away from those who want to eat me. D is for Diplodocus. I am one of the longest of dinosaurs that ever lived. I eat plants, but I can't chew very well. So I swallow huge stones that mash up my food in my enormous stomach. Diplodocus. This one's a hard one to say. E is for Eulo, Uoplocelaphus. Uoplocelaphus. Try to say that three times. I don't eat other dinosaurs, but I can stop myself from being eaten. My back is covered with hard, bony plates, and I have a big, heavy club at the end of my tail. F is for Fabricosaurus. I am almost three feet long, but I have strong arms and hands that help me grab the leaves that I like to eat. I got strong legs and can run away from danger quickly. G is for Graviolus. We have very thick skulls and that's why the other dinosaurs call us boneheads. We like to charge into each other's head first, but sometimes it gives us a headache. H is for Hedrosaurus. I'm often called Duckbill because my mouth looks like a beak. I have very small flat teeth inside my cheeks which I use to chew the plants that I like to eat. I is for Iguanodon. Wherever I go, I always meet other Iguanodons because there are lots of us around. I use the bony spike on my thumb to defend myself if someone starts a fight. J is for Yanentia. See, it starts with a J, but it doesn't. It doesn't sound like J in the front. It sounds like a Y. 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 So Yanentia. I'm about 80 feet long. Pretty cool, right? With these bony plates on my back, I don't have to worry about predators. I eat a lot, and I stand on my rear legs to reach the leaves in the very high trees. K is for Kenthrosaurus. My name means prickly reptile. I guess that's because of the spikes along my back and tail. They're there to protect. I have a very small brain, so I'm not the smartest dinosaur. L is for Leptoceratops. Another hard one to say. My name means slender horned face. I'm about six feet long and I have a really cool looking head crest and a little horned beak to bite my food.
M is for Macroplata. While those dinosaurs are walking around on land, eating boring old plants and even each other, we see reptiles spend our time swimming and eating fish. I have these great flippers that help me swim fast. N is for Notosaurus. My armor plating has given me my name. It means lumpy reptile. Those knobby plates on my back are really tough and it takes a lot to hurt me. I ate plants that are close to the ground. O is for Oranosaurus. The sail on my back is very helpful. I let the sun shine on it to warm me up. To cool me down, I turn the sail into the wind and I let it blow on my back. And P is for Parasolophus. It may look weird, but the big tube on top of my head comes in useful. I can blow through it to make a really loud noise and warn my friends if I see anything dangerous. Q is for Quetzalcoatlus. See, this is another one that their name starts at the letter but sounds different in the beginning. This one's Q, but this one sounds, it goes Ket. So it doesn't sound like a Q, it sounds like K. I'm a flying reptile that lived at the same time as the dinosaurs. I'm the biggest of my kind and the largest creature ever to fly. I like to eat fish, but sometimes I scavenge for scraps of meat. R is for Rio Riohasaurus. I'm one of the oldest of the plant-eating dinosaurs and the first to have a long neck. I have big, heavy, strong legs, so my bones are very solid and thick, and I'm about 36 feet long. S is for Stenonychosaurus. I am very, I am a very smart dinosaur, and and I have very good eyesight, which helps me when I am out hunting for food. People also call me Trodon, but I prefer Stenonychosaurus. T is for Triceratops. I live in a herd with other triceratops. If any other dinosaurs try to hurt us, we bash into them as hard as we can using the three sharp horns on our heads. U is for Ultrasaurus. Of all the long-necked, plant-eating dinosaurs, I am the tallest. I am about the height of a four-story building, whatever that is. I have an unusual crest on the top of my head, and that's where my nostrils are. V is for a Velociraptor. I am one of the scariest dinosaurs around. My name means, means speedy predator. We hunt in packs using the sharp claws on the middle toes to catch our dinner. W is for, for Wananosaurus. I am a lot smaller than my crazy cousins, Grivitolos, and my head isn't quite as thick, but I still like to use it to play headbanging games with my friends. X is for Xenotarsosaurus. I'm a big meat-eating dinosaur. These those little horns above my eyes and the spikes on my back might seem a little strange, but I don't care. They make me look scary. Why is for Ying Shanosaurus? I use the plates on my back to warm myself by facing them towards the sun and cool down by turning it, turning away from it. 
I protect myself with these really sharp spikes on my tail. Z is for Zephyrosaurus. I'm small, I eat plants, and I can run pretty fast. My long tail helps me keep my balance and that makes running quickly a lot easier. I really like my name. It means West Wind Reptile. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I did and don't forget to comment so I can know who has seen this and if you comment, maybe you could be entered into weekly re weekly raffle and with that we could do a shout out or you could get a prize. <laughs>